A helicopter carrier is a type of aircraft carrier whose primary purpose is to operate helicopters. Like aircraft carriers, it has a large flight deck that occupies the full length of the ship. Pure helicopter carriers are difficult to define in the 21st century, but helicopter carriers have been used as anti-submarine warfare carriers and amphibious assault ships. Today, there are about 10 countries with helicopter carriers in service and we will rank them based on length as usual. So let's take a look at these vessels one by one. Number 10 on the list is Argus A135. RFA Argus belongs to Royal Fleet Auxiliary and was formerly a container ship built by the Italian. She primarily serves as aviation training or casualty receiving ship and Argus is due to remain in service until 2024. Her displacement is about 20,081 metric tons and stretches up to 175.1 meters. Number 9 on the list is JS Huga DD-181. She is the lead ship of the Hyuga class helicopter destroyer of Japan and the ship took part in delivery, supplies and undertook in disaster relief operations after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. Displacement is 13,000 long ton standard, 19,000 metric tons maximum and 197 meters in length. At number 8, we have the Mistral class, an amphibious assault ship class that is used by two countries, Egypt and France. She was originally built for the Russian Navy and underwent sea trials. There are about five ships of this class with equal displacement of 21,300 metric tons and a length of 199 meters. Up next at number 7 is Dokdo. LPH-6111 is the lead ship of the Dokdo class amphibious assault ship of the Republic of Korea Navy. Presently, Dokdo is the flagship and the largest vessel in the South Korean Navy and she has an empty displacement of 18,800 metric tons and a length of 199 meters. At number 6 is PHM Atlantico. The current flagship of the Brazilian Navy, it was originally constructed in the United Kingdom as HMS Ocean. When decommissioned by the UK, the Brazilian Navy purchased it as a replacement for the aircraft carrier Sao Paulo. She is 21,500 metric tons and 203.4 meters long. At number 5, we have the Canberra L02. HMS Canberra is a modified one carlo ship of Spain and the lead ship or flagship of the Canberra class landing helicopter dock in service with the Royal Australian Navy. Her displacement is 27,500 metric tons and a length of 230.8 meters. At number 4 spot is Juan Carlos 1. Juan Carlos 1 is a multi purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier in service with the Spanish Navy. Similar in role to many aircraft carriers, the ship has a ski jump for STOVL operations. The vessel is 27,079 metric tons and a length of 230.8 meters. And now at number 3 is Izumo class. It is a helicopter carrier ship with the planned future conversion into an aircraft carrier. Officially classified as a multi-purpose operation destroyer, she is the second ship in the Izumo class of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. She is 27,000 metric tons displacement and 248 meters long. At number 2 spot is USS America. USS America is an amphibious assault ship of the United States Navy and the only ship of her class that is in service. With a displacement of 45,000 tons, she is as large as many other countries' aircraft carriers and a total length of 257.3 meters. And now at number 1 spot is USS Macon Island. USS Macon Island or LHD-8, a WASP-class amphibious assault ship, is the second ship of the United States Navy to be named for Macon Island, target of the Marine Radar's Macon Island raid early on in the United States' involvement in World War II. She is the longest helicopter carrier to ever be built with a displacement of 41,649 and a total length of 258 meters. So we're winding up the video for today, but before you leave, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you for viewing in, we'll see you in our next video, bye bye.